What's going on guys? It's your boy Jesse D123 back with another video and in today's video we're going to be going over every Team Affinity Season 1 card that's been released in the past 48 hours through MLB The Show's Twitter account. Drop a like if you guys are excited man and without further ado let's hop right into today's video. Guys I'm so excited for this. Every time SDS tweets out a new card I just get more and more excited because that means the game's getting really, really close. It's already Saturday, guys. We have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Five more days, guys, until we get our hands on MLB The Show 22. If you guys have not entered my giveaway, I'm going to link the video down in the description. Go ahead and click that video, and then you guys are going to have to click a tweet and follow all the rules on that tweet if you guys want to enter. We're going to be giving away two digital deluxe editions of the game. That's the $100 edition of the game, guys. Appreciate you guys for showing all the love and support. But let's get into... All the Team Affinity Season 1 cards that's been released so far, guys. So starting off hot, I believe this was yesterday, guys. I apologize. I'm a day behind on content. But they released the 90 overall Ronald Acuna Jr. This is on your screen right now. I apologize. The, the, the image isn't the highest quality. But you guys see the card art. The card art looks amazing, bro. This card art. SDS always kills it with the card art, man. So shout out to the card art team because they always kill it with the, with the art. Acuna though this raises some questions guys this is Ronald Acuna Jr and he's a 90 overall what kind of rating are they going to get his live series card that's a, that's pretty much what everyone's been asking right now I think he's probably going to get like a 94 overall live series card um we shall see though we shall see a 90 overall Acuna day one that's insane bro he's probably gonna have diamond defense or probably 100 power on one side it's gonna be really really good guys you see this is exactly why i get super excited because we get to start brainstorming what type of stats these cards have and within the upcoming days we shall see what their true stats and everything because sds should be tweeting them out but right now we can only guess right so acuna was the first one to be released now guys before i show you guys the other one they also released another legend from that legends pack to go alongside mickey mano i'm throwing it on you guys the screen it's ricky henderson guys this card art as well shout out to the artist bro he killed it bro i can't wait to see who else joins ricky henderson and mickey mano there's only three more spots are we gonna see griffey willie mays um roberto clemente jackie robinson hank aaron hopefully we do see hank, see hank aaron in this like we did in um mlb the show 21 but we shall see now let's get into the team affinity cards and finish it off with that so i'm gonna throw this image on your guys screen this is the image sds tweeted out I, I don't know exactly when but they tweeted this out so as you guys can see it says faces of the faces of the franchise let me state this as well team affinity season one is face of the franchise so usually they'll like have uh, team affinities where they base it around legends where they base it around future stars but this one is the face of the franchise guys so as you guys can see we're missing the red sox and we're missing the blue jays but at the time i'm at the time i'm recording they already reviewed though uh revealed those so we're going to be going over them after we show you guys the other three so we have a rotis chapman we don't have their stats though guys so i apologize we have a rotis chapman for the yankees which is interesting day one we're going to have an rotis chapman guys a 90 diamond one on top of his live series which is going to be insane you guys are going to want to probably go for that card first because you guys are going to need him for your bullpen. Next, we have the 90 Wander Franco, guys. Wander Franco is a switch hitter. He's the hottest prospect in the game right now. Um, I know he had a 99 overall in MLB The Show 21, and his stats were crazy. So he's a switch hitter. Expect probably gold fielding at shortstop with that card. And then we have a 90 Cedric Mullins. Guys, Cedric Mullins was such a good card in MLB The Show 21. I feel like he was very, very underrated, but then again, a lot of people did use him. Um, he does have kind of like sneaky power. His stats doesn't really show that he has power, but he does have that sneaky power, kind of like Mondesi, if you guys know him. So we got to go over the Red Sox and the Blue Jays. Shout out to Flank Thomas who uh, revealed the Red Sox. And then shout out to MLB Gaming for revealing um, the Blue Jays. So now let's go over the Red Sox one, guys. And it's no other than Rafael Devers, guys. Look at the card art. It's a little bit more HD. The card art looks crazy, bro. I'm telling you, they killed it with the card art. But Rafael Devers. Now with Devers and with the Blue Jays pick, they did reveal the stats. So let me throw the stats up on your guys' screen. Dever stats are insane, guys. 85 plus contact on both sides day one. Not to mention, this man has over 105 power against righties day one, guys. Man, Devers. <laughs> this card is really, really good, bro. But he does have 66 fielding and 69 um reaction. So that's gonna hurt him over there at third base. But offensively, he's gonna be really, really good. He has such a nice swing as well. But defensively, you're gonna take a hit. But Devers should probably be everyone's starting third baseman unless they get like an Arenado or a Chris Bryant 
or or my boy Justin Turner. Like, I don't know. But Devers probably going to be everyone's third baseman. You'll see. Now, moving on to the Blue Jays pick, guys. And the image is on your screen. It's of Alec Manoa, a starting pitcher in 90 overall. The blue-blue combo looks really, really good right there. Um, let me throw his stats up on your guys' screen because I think his stats are really, really good for day one. So he does have 90 stamina, but with 99 hits per nine. I know you guys are probably like 99 hits per nine, but guys, remember, this is day one of the game. Day one, guys. Like 99 hits per nine is really, really good for day one. He also has 82 control, which I wish was a little bit better. 89 velo and 99 break, which is good because he has a sinker, circle chain slider, and a forcing for his four pitch repertoire. I love that he has a sinker and a circle change, honestly, and obviously the, fa the fastball to... Um, pair with all of that i think the sinker and the circle change you can mix it around pretty well and he will do pretty good for you though but but uh, one thing i did want to mention to you guys i want to go over so out of these cards right here that i've revealed so we have alec manoa for the blue jays we have cedric mullins for the orioles wander franco for the rays a rodis chapman for the yankees and we have devers for the red sox who should you guys choose first if you guys get this al east pack Honestly, I don't know. It's based on your guys' needs. Right now, obviously, I don't have the game in my hands, but I'm just looking at the list. In my opinion, I think you should go Orodis Chapman first, then Wander Franco, and then maybe Devers. Or if you guys don't even care about Orodis Chapman, want to pick up his live series card, then go ahead and go Devers and Wander Franco. Maybe even that Cedric Mullins could be really, really good. I don't know, man, because we don't have the stats in front of us. But I have a feeling within the next couple of days, we should be getting the stats to the rest of these cards, as well as more releases of um the face of the franchise team affinity season one cards i can't wait to see who they who, who gets the dodgers not i want to say maybe walker Bueller, maybe who's the face of the franchise for the dodgers mookie Betts? i don't know man i don't know um if you, if you guys have your favorite team let me know down in the comments who do you think is going to be the face of the franchise for your team affinity season one um because there's still a lot of good cards out there that could be coming out who's going to be the athletics card the seattle mariners card the angels card like there's so many cards and so much potential to be coming to mlb the show 22 guys this was a long video i talked a lot all one take and everything so i'm gonna end it right here but i appreciate you guys for watching today's video man hopefully you guys got a hopefully you guys got a lot of good information from this video and you guys learned something new i appreciate you guys for watching today's video man drop a like if you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one it's been your boy jesse d123 